Today's video is about using our animals as tools. So, cutting the lawn for the campers. We've got 32 people coming on the market gardening course. And they're camping in Buckyfield. What better way to cut the grass than with a lamb mower? They're in with the turkeys, but turkey's not so sure about the whole thing. This is what the weather's been like for two weeks now. It's just downpours after downpours. It's the wettest year, uh, September, we've had for a long time. September's often very wet here, but this is hard for gardens, this is hard for animals. And it's really hard for people that spend a lot of time outdoors. Cows are moving to Ruben's pen. We want them to eat some of the tree leaves and some mixed forage. Bring some of the pastoral gut flora to the forest system, helping us turn it back to agroforestry. In the same way, we're starting to use the hens in a different way uh, to go through the tree lanes, cleaning it out first. And the reason we're doing this is uh, to try and just like leave the ground in a way that's less attractive for sork, the vole. We lost a lot of trees to voles last winter, it was a very mild winter. So at this time of year it's very wet on the ground, we've had the wettest few weeks we've ever had at the farm. And I want to leave this grass for winter grazing. So we're letting the chickens come in and, and really sort of scratch up the mulch. But they also sort of compact the bedding from last year in a way that I'm hoping is uh, easier to spot any vole holes and I don't know, it's an experiment, but using animals as tools uh, to do work for us, otherwise cutting in here is quite a lot of work across all the different lanes we have down the farm. So we'll see, I'll update you on how it goes, but I'm liking their impact so far, and they're really enjoying the little habitat, scratching around through the mulch and seeing what's in there. Well, it turns out the turkeys are a little bit apprehensive of the sheep. Considering using the sheep to take down the banks here. At least I found a good sound. Hi, Jennifer. Me, so. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Yesterday I saw my first golden eagle. I'm, I'm losing my voice a bit actually. But I saw a golden eagle being chased by two buzzards that live up in the forest behind us. Oof, it was huge. I mean, it must have had two meter wingspan. And I didn't know that there were golden eagles around here because I haven't seen one before. But it's been so much wildlife and birds this year. It's really given me a lot of confidence that we're doing good things. Sheep have done a really good job lawn mowing. So they've been in here uh, since yesterday afternoon. Grass is ready for campers. So my objective today with the sheep is just to move them along, cutting all the banks, basically. You see it gets overgrown, and I'm generally doing the uh, ground maintenance, and it, I just can't keep up with it with everything else I'm doing. So let's see how it goes. We've got nesting guinea fowl on the bank here, so we've got to be mindful of that. But we're going to see how good these lamb mowers are. Here they come. You can see how wet it's been here. It never gets wet here. 
It's just being ah. unbelievable. I'm trying to avoid driving in the fields right now. It's just too soggy. Ah. The gardens are doing okay considering, I mean, this is the standing water just from the last day of rain, but oof, a lot of rain. Soggy, soggy. Still, getting those carrots. Meat still coming out. What have we got there, man? This is uh, one of our salad mixes today. We've got a couple of different mustard greens in here. Nice. And then this is our other epic salad mix for the day. So we've got Mizuna, Rocket, Kale, Beets, Spinach, Chard. We're going to mix that all up. They're going to love that one. And uh, mix in some uh, nice some of the All-Star Gourmet Mesclin as well. Beauty. Yeah. Challenging weather, no? Challenging weather. It's been raining every day for, I don't think we've used our irrigation system for five weeks. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's been the wet as September, I've seen. Yeah, but we've got a lot of food in the ground and the row covers are working well. We've got some good enough drainage to keep things going and it's good. Nice. Yeah. Herbie Hancock? Herbie Hancock, yeah. Nice. What do you think, Maggie? What noise do sheep make? <laughs> hey, Clover May. Little car. This is a nice uh, state of recovery. It's had Reuben in here. But there's a lot of uh, Forbes come back in here. And they're taking a lot of leaves like poplar. Not sure where Viola and her calves are. But there's a lot of uh, forage in here. So we're just going to see how long it takes until they've taken a lot of the material and seem a bit hungrier. These are mountain cows, and this is the sort of material they would have been put onto in the winter. Probably taking the last of the tree leaves before they fell. And then just scavenging for what they could find. But it's a nice environment for a cow. Some of the oaks coming back. We have so many oak trees now. And by having them graze through here, it's going to improve the grass and forage. As well as having them deposit some of the manure from the pasture in here and start inoculating the woodland soil with more pastoral stuff. And it, you know, it's turning back nicely. This was uh, brash when we came here and they just cut down the spruce. And three seasons in, there's a lot of nice orbs and grasses coming up. Today is Rico. Beautiful remains. And cats, some leeks still, and some beautiful Nero Tonda, which we like a lot. So the forage isn't great in here, so we just left them here for a few hours. But they've taken it down a bit and cleared along the fence a bit. Very nice, and now they're off down the road, probably just a couple of hours to a spot, and then we'll move them on again. Thin strips are coming into, and we're just passing over on the other side of the road now. And they're going to make their way down to the right pair. Good job, she. They've only been here now. It's really nice using animals to do the work for us. You see the chickens in the tree lanes. They're taking down the ground cover. And there's more over here. And just really like laying the ground flat to save maintenance. Sheep are doing the grass cutting. Pigs are in the forest, turning that back to agroforestry. Cows are reaping the benefits of that. Allowing animals to do some of the work for us whilst you know, here we're benefiting from different species that you don't find in the pasture. Same with the cows in the woodland, they're getting to eat some woody species. These guys are ready to move on though. Thanks as always for watching our videos. I'm a bit hoarse in the throat, so I won't be making videos for a couple of days. Rest my voice before the weekend and the market garden training. We're going to be filming that with Tio, who was here on the farm scale permaculture course last year. 
and that's going to be exciting. So thanks for everyone that's supporting us by purchasing the book. I've got a lot of books to send out, and that's awesome. And we'll catch you in the next video.